Right now, I'd like to welcome Zudu on stage. Wow. Hello? Wow, it really feels nice being up here, guys. <laughs> um, all right, I'm Hussein. I'm from Zudua. Um, all right. Um, what is Zudua? Zudua is about the working woman who could hardly find time to go shopping. It's about the grandmother who's in the village and the grandson wants to give them a gift. It's about the man who always ends up buying bad products. It's about the farmer who is looking for something that is unavailable in his village. Zudua is about bringing smiles. Um, all right. So um, we had inception um, of Zudua in November of 2015. Um, it was all about finding easier routes, um, finding easier trade routes uh, in the market. Um, we had a theory and testing starting December 2015 and we launched the product on 21st of February 2017. So we are roughly three months into um, since launch. Uh, the core team contains of myself, Hussein uh, Devji, I've been um, 16 years in the tech industry. Um, Nishad Devji who is running as CEO of the operations for the business. Grace who is handling administrations and operations. Um, Sylvester, who handles uh, pickup and delivery. Imran, who handles accounts and finance. Let's talk about some of the problems. I think that picture sort of shows what is the sort of frustrations shoppers go through all the time. Um, we've got a big issue about product availability, uh, especially in places like Tanzania, where there is very small market areas where products are available. And as they get further and further from that radius, the product becomes more and more expensive, and, le and, and there is always shortages for those products, especially a little bit on the um, uh, extra products which are not available all the places. Um, we have a problem with shop timings. Uh, shops close down by 5 p.m. Uh, people want to, are working till 5 p.m., and, and it becomes very difficult for people to be able to go and buy their products uh, after their working hours. Um, there's a lot of gray market products coming here. Um, we've got a big chain between the distribution and the retails, especially when it goes outside of Dar es Salaam. So we are mostly stuck up on, on retails between Dar es Salaam and uh, Arusha and Mwanza, etc. So there's a big chain between those areas. Um, shops have limited reach. Uh, product pr pricing is also determined by area. So basically, Zudua is an e-commerce platform, and we're trying to sell products direct from distributors and importers to the customer. We're reducing the chain extremely uh, and shortening the chain and bringing uh, branded products to the customers. Um, we've got two ap applications. We've got a web application and a mobile application. Um, we generate revenue using commissions uh, on, and markups on products, as well as uh, delivery charges. Um, using advertising and promotions is something that we want to start working on as well. Um, some of the great things about Zudua, thumbs ups. Uh, we've had a customer satisfaction rating of 4.8% uh, 4.8 out of 5 um, and a retention of 65%. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Please bear with me. Um, is the ease of use and obviously one of the great things we have is we have signed brands. We have 122 plus signed brands with us. Um, competitive analysis. What we have noticed very much is um, there is various e-commerce platforms already available, but the user interface is very, very similar. We come up with a very unique user interface. The structure, um, it works. Most of them are either working as agents uh, or commission agents. Uh, they're not backing up the product that they are selling to the customers. Um, they have got, or they are importing the products right after the order has been placed. Zudua doesn't work that way. Zudua backs up the product. We are the people who are selling to the customers and we're purchasing it direct from distributors and uh, importers. So we are backing out the product and we're giving warranties on the product. Um, uh, 
to give you a little bit of an analysis of what we have achieved in the last three months since we launched the product, um, we are two months ahead in our sales projections. We have 244 categories and nearly 3,000 products on our website right now. We're signing companies. Um, we had four new signing ins in the last week. Um, we have 122 signed brands already on the website. Um, 6,300 Facebook likes, 167 unique customers, and we've completed 256 orders. We've achieved all this in the last three months since we launched the, the website. So we've been able to ship our products all the way to Morogoro, Iringa, Arusha, Mwanza, Mombasa, and Nairobi as well. So we've already started shipping products outside of the Tanzanian reach borders as well. Um, we have just launched our vendor program uh, on the 10th of May, uh, which allows us to be able to give a separate dashboard to the vendors, and they will be able to monitor their sales and start being able to put their products on the, on the, on the website themselves. Now, these vendors are not your daily retailers. These vendors are vendors who have got particular brands. All right, just, I've got a one minute left, so I'll have to move this faster. We've got a $2 trillion market, or consumer market in East Africa over the next, um, th uh, till the end 2025, and out of which East Africa will have a $309 billion economy. And we're trying to tap into this economy. What we're planning to do basically is have 21 hubs across East Africa. And these hubs will serve as sales points. So we are not only relying on our mobile technology, but we're relying on, on people coming in, visiting, and buying products on there. We want to start venturing into Kenya, and then since we have direct distributor deals, we want to get into bulk sales. So we want to start shipping products to landlocked countries, which is Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. Now these people, they have the need to come all the way to Tanzania in order to buy their products. And what we are trying to do is we are trying to eliminate that need to be able to ship products directly to these guys. Yeah, obviously we also want to expand a lot on, the, on our platform. We want to bring loyalty programs for the, for the retail customers as well. We've got a three-year marketing growth strategy, which is tying, uh, targeting retail medium to high income. Time's targeting, up. Um, targeting, uh, sorry. Time's up. Welcome, judges. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Are you buying the inventory or? Uh we don't stock the inventory. We actually have a contract with the distributors so we can pick up from them and ship on, on demand. How much are you raising, if you're raising? Um, over the next five years, we're looking at raising $12 million. Now? Now, uh, $500,000. Uh, for our expansion plans to uh, Kenya and starting our, of our sales hubs. What is the value of the company right now? Uh, we are valuing it at uh, 800000 800000 uh, Sorry, sorry, $1.8 million. $1.8 million. And the 500000 uh, uh, is against uh, what equity? 12%. 12%. Um, I have advice, I guess, and, uh, and a question. The advice quickly is that uh, for the first two slides, you, you kind of wasted time on the roadmap and the team. You should have just gone straight uh, to the... To that. Yes, exactly. And uh, the questions will be, e-commerce is very competitive, um, and I uh, think price is very important. So I saw your business model, you're charging commissions and delivery fees. That yes. means that the product becomes more expensive, um, rather than just somebody buying um, at a shop directly. So how are you offsetting those extra cost charges um, as compared to somebody just buying As directly? you might have noticed, our business, our business model is not dealing with uh, retailers to customers. Our business model works with uh, direct distributors and importers. So we're already having a bigger, bigger share of the slice between the, 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 the importers to the retailers. So we function as a retailer, so we can have bigger markups because of that. One minute left, eh? One minute and seven so, seconds. So uh, let me just quickly add a little something on that. Uh, basically, if you start thinking about it, if, you are, if a customer is spending $25 on your website and you've got about 500,000 customers on your website, then every month and then per year you are roughly looking at $300 million in sales. If you're looking at a small markup of 10% on that, 
then that is $30 million in, in gross profits for your business. That is why such a business model works out so much better. Okay, in that case then, uh, if you're adopting that model, that means you have a professional retailer in your team. Do you have that? Because uh, I see that you don't have, um, you don't have focus in your, in your model. Because e-commerce, sometimes you need to start with a focus, a niche area, like okay. are you fashion, are you consumer electronics? Um, do you have any expert who knows the retail business and can source the right products at the right price? Um, yes, basically, um, I had to run through that, but Nishat has got quite a good experience in, in the retail market already. Um, and we, we all have business backgrounds coming in from uh, since our family businesses. So we have worked with the retail uh, avenues and backgrounds, and we have worked with a lot of shop owners and traders in the past. So that is helping us quite a bit to understand what sort of product markets to get into. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Zidua. What's your name again? Hussein. Hussein. Thank you, Hussein. Have a seat. Now, so far, we've heard from Adira app, Kokote app. We're taking a breather, Kidogo, just a small break. Adira app, Kokote app, Twende app, Emma Cat Laundry, Mimosa Concierge, and Zudua. Six, so far, six startups have pitched today. We have, uh, I think with words, not numbers. <laughs> uh, work Nasi, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven more startups. We'll, we'll start talking about them in a few minutes. But for the time being, hopefully you're learning something. You're being enlightened with some of the few things that we're getting. Uh, we've heard some really good pitches and some really edgy ones. But at the same time, we've also got some really good feedbacks. So I think it could be a way for you guys to also get something up when you're about to come through. Now... On the same note, mm -hmm. we'd like to uh, keep thanking our sponsors who flew from way, way uh, long to come and spend these two days with us. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, all these two days we've been working hard, tirelessly, having fun, and doing everything, doing the most. Now, our great people in Focus Studio decided to surprise us with something. They have edited and have, they've done a lot of things. So, we have a video for yesterday and some few clips for today. And... as you can so they see what has been happening for the past two days.
Now, you know, we, we kept on telling you to keep the conversation going on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Please tag us at Sahara Sparks. At the same time, you can also put a hashtag on it, keep the conversation going, retweet and tweet and do whatever these millennials are talking about these days. I don't know most of the words, but I do know some.